Hello everyone from North Padre Island, Texas. I wanted to bring this message to you about an asteroid that's coming to Earth on the 14th of September. <coughs> it could be uh, about 3 million miles <coughs> away from Earth. However, <coughs> uh, you may be familiar with uh, uh, boats and water and if you're not that's okay uh, but there might be a wake uh, which means that there's like a, a wave of energy uh, in the water you'll see a direct wave um, in space it'll just be a wave of <clears throat> energy not even like a wind but just a wave and uh, sometimes if they're too close these asteroids can cause an actual tsunami on the planet and there's no way really for us to prepare for this uh, because we don't know where it could affect the earth however uh, you may also feel a uh, human energy uh, sweep or wake uh, inside of you and uh, I hope that you will actually look forward to this because it can be a catalyst for new changes in your life and so um, I'll tell you a little bit about it it's called uh, asteroid 2000 Q W 7 now in numerology <coughs> these numbers have a meaning uh, however in this particular um, uh, asteroid uh, there's other factors that contribute to it um, and I'll tell you about that okay so the name is 2000 Q W7 and the size of it will be tall and they measure it in height as 900 to 2000 feet tall it will be passing by at a speed of 14,361 miles per hour so um, that's pretty fast in seconds and it'll be exciting to I don't know if you have a telescope but it will be exciting to be able to see that and also I put expected time of arrival but it's not going to arrive it's just actually going to pass by so it will be uh, Eastern Standard Time uh, at 754 about 8 o'clock in the evening and then additionally, let's go to the numerology of this uh, planet. I have just recently learned about numerology, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. And so I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. The, um, uh, the numbers of Q in the alphabet, the English alphabet, are uh, 17 in line from beginning to A to Z and then W is 21 and then of course the planet has an assigned I mean the asteroid has a an assigned number uh, 7 so if you add it up 1 plus 7 uh, plus 2 plus 1 plus 7 um, equals 18 or if you add it vertically it's 45 and it still ends up both of them <clears throat> a 1 plus 8 or a 4 plus 5 equals a 9 <clears throat> now uh, 9 instead of saying that it has meaning I'll say that it has uh, it communicates to us uh, particular meanings and so uh, the number 9 <clears throat> communicates completion like the end of things like graduation or like uh, when my husband passed away I would see uh, the numbers 937 like for for years after his death whether it was on the clock or uh, uh, in in uh, things that I saw um, uh, around my life or in my daytime uh, nighttime didn't matter I, I just auto automatically always was in tune with 937 uh, and maybe I'll do a video about what those numbers mean later but right now we're talking about the number 9 and it uh, signifies uh, a communication of completion or a graduation or the end of something that existed before so I like to think about this as uh, old paradigm uh, you know ways of thinking uh, might be disappearing we know that there's a lot of uh, <coughs> 
truth that's coming to light right now with uh, religions and um, uh, um, certain behaviors that are illegal and uh, certainly immoral. So, uh, you know, the lack of integrity and perhaps the raised consciousness of integrity is something that we can move forward to. And going on uh, from that, if we go to the date, which is uh, September 14th, 20, uh, 2019, it would add up to 26, which would equal 8. And 8 communicates uh, something wonderful after uh, the 9, which is completion. And so the number 8 communicates manifestation and abundance. So this doesn't always have to be monetary. It can be health as in longevity or uh, a, 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 a superior immune system or optimal cell function uh, and other things like that. You know, everything's working uh, at a graduated level. And then going further with this, um, now after we go from the nine to the eight, we know that with manifestation and abundance, humans can have all things and create all things in abundance. So what we would like to do, I know that I will be doing this, is um, getting ready for it and uh, speaking affirmations uh, to be put more into my receiving mode. No resistance. We don't want to resist uh, what's available for us to receive. Um, think of it like, uh, you know, your mom or dad handing you a $20 bill, you know, open that hand up and be ready to receive the abundance that the universe wants to, uh, you know, supply in your life. And so I have a list of affirmations. You might be new to affirmations, but I certainly enjoy them. They um, put me in a better mood uh, for the day. And so I'm going to share these with you. And uh, I'll start with, I am directly connected to source. I am under the influence of source. I am satisfied. I am grateful. I am open to all that the universe manifests just for me. I am ready to receive all the signs of communication for my response. I am willing to accept new knowledge with joy and gratitude. I am willing to release everything necessary to allow my open space for all that I need right now. I hope that this will help you look forward to uh, the new changes of energy on the planet and uh, things that we don't need to be suffering through come to light so that we can move into a higher consciousness and uh, uh, not just have a better version of ourselves, but have a better version of planet Earth so that we can all enjoy living on this planet. So signing off from uh, Padre Island, Texas. Enjoy your day. Love you all a lot and I will see you next time. Enjoy a fabulous day and look forward to what's coming. Bye-bye. <music>